School Board of Trustees meeting to order. Um, Ms. Markowski, if you can please note, please note that all the board members except Teresa Perkins are present. Um, if you'll please stay with me and say the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item would be the approval of the agenda board. I move that we approve the agenda as, as presented. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Uh, any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. The next would be the approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. And I move that we approve these. Can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Maybe she did. No singing at this point. <laughs> I don't think we can do it. I had a rough lunch. Fill out a form. There's a bonus form. All right, you're okay, Ms. Perkins. Please reflect that Truth Perkins is safe here. But here. Uh, but here. <clears throat> the next item would be public comments. I don't think we have any at this time. Uh, we will move to goal strategies, student achievement, and of course budget. Uh, the wonderful talent, Ms. Kubringer. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Mr. President. Respect members of the board. Hope you're having a great evening. She said respect members. You're all respected. Yes, you are. I have much changes here. Um, I'm going to uh, quickly go through this and highlight some points for you because we have some other uh, business in order to talk about tonight. Uh, for your five major funds that are related to the budget, we are uh, nearing the end of the first quarter. Uh, nothing significant that we do for state reporting at this point, um, but it is a milestone of monitoring. You can clearly see when your education fund, uh, different from last year, uh, last year was your first year without TAWs, this is real comparisons month by month now, so uh, you have uh, $9.8 million at the end of February in operations fund. Remember, reminding you that funds that are housed in education fund are transferred June and July into the operations fund. But uh, based on how the district operates now more efficiently, you can clearly see that last year without a TW, we had $5.8 million. So, you are doing much better. Uh, operations, uh, 1.4 for each year, which is usual because you have your tax collections in June and December. Uh, your debt service and pension fund, those funds are just carried as cash there for the end of the term of your debt. And then your rainy day is at 4.980, and last year at 3.599. Any questions on that? If not hearing any, Mr. President, may I move on to the Treasurer's Fund package? Please. So we went through the first top five. Uh, one of the areas that I kind of want to uh, focus your eyes on, if you see that fund there that says bond reimbursements, 0721, we are progressing along on our next project that the board has approved for the Parkwood, the JHS pool, and other activities that work to develop in the district. We are forging forward until we get our funds. You know that process, uh, I will explain to you. Um, when we get to that point, uh, we don't let production stop. You are in a position now where you can uh, pay for those expenses and get reimbursed as our bond council always presents those resolutions to allow us to do so. So we're forging forward on that, uh, just so you're aware of that. I also want you to focus on the school lunch fund. Uh, at the end of February, $2.4 million. I'm just going to discuss the $600,000 will be contributed towards the project at North Haven because they are working on the seating area of the cafeteria, which qualifies as cafeteria with work being done, expanding, getting rid of that stage, which Bryce and Coral will be presenting that information to you. 
However, we today with uh, Beverly and Human Service, the equipment does need to be updated there, as well as we're going to see construction-wise if the team that usually does our updates on our cafeterias and kitchen area um, can handle the second serving line. So we're investigating that, so it will be more than $600,000. Remember, when we get to the food service, I will let you know how much money out of that. Um, those are the highlights uh, that I wanted to bring to your attention here uh, on, on this progress tonight. Any questions on anything that you do see here? Most of your funds are in the red. Are you reimbursing those? Karen and then we'll move to the bonds. We're working through our bonds uh, diligently. Some of the money that is remaining in these bonds will go towards our current construction projects if needed. A lot of FF&E, which is your furniture, protections, and equipment, uh, will probably be hitting that. So some of these will be dropping off at 217, 2017 uh, is for CMS, NES, and River Valley. Uh, for the two middle schools, we will be uh, using this, these funds to contribute towards the renovation on <coughs> CMS. On uh, they do want additional painting than what throughout the rest of the building. So we're going to be able to accommodate that through, through the. The other thing in the Series 22, we uh, met with the Stiefel team. We know that when we started this adventure quite a while ago, we only borrowed a certain amount of money because we don't need it all right now. And uh, as time has shown, the increase in price of products uh, has increased substantially on top of the fact that we have to accommodate the size of uh, enrollment that we're anticipating at these elementary schools. So we uh, will be adding to that, and that will be coming down the line by resolution that um, uh, Trey uh, Thomas Peterson will uh, present that to you when it's time to do that. Is there any question there? Tonight we'll get a presentation on 21 projects and discussing those. You're only done with Utica too, by the way. So, uh, Dr. Shire will be uh, meeting with that team to be done a, uh, the initial punch list, the things that are obvious, give them a chance to uh, take care of certain things, and he'll be going through it, uh, the actual punch list to say it was the absolutes. That should be coming within two to three weeks within the month to be reported to you. Any questions there? Finally, your food service account. If we look at the bottom where it's highlighted, okay, the allowable cash that you're allowed to keep on hand based on three months average expenses, which I take a look at the 12 month <coughs> totality because of the different time frames. You tend to spend less money in the summer than you do in the school time. So I average your three months over a 12-month period. You're allowed to spend over 1.2 million. I feel very confident that we'll be able to get the additional equipment. And if the building allows that structurally to put in another serving line, we put in a second serving line in Utica. So we want to be able to uh, start handling those kind of things within our, our buildings. Uh, incidentally, she will she'll be meeting with the architect team. Um, and the core team on the cafeteria in the two new elementaries. We also will be uh, having our um, weekly construction update where I'll be reporting this time now that we get our tech team to start planning all of that uh, data, tables that they need, the uh, equipment that they need, all in there. So that's the part that starts to get to be a little bit expensive. And we know that, and so we want to make sure that we can accommodate that as well. Um, but if there's any, no other questions, we can move on. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, the next item would be the core construction presentation. And Jamie Lane. And Jamie Lane. <laughs> Thank you all for having us. Hey, um, happy Pi Day. It's my turn today. Right. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I stopped at Coffee Crossing over at River 
provision in that file. So I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for having us today. And uh, we're going to go through as quickly as we can. We have 39 slides. So it's a lot, but we're going to cover it very quickly. Um, we're going to talk about year one facility projects and year two facility projects today, which are um, respectively 2021, 2022, but you know, continuing on through the course of 2025 um, in terms of projects. So um, first of all, thank you to our partners, both Jamie um, here, as well as Perfections in the room, um, and then all of our engineering partners. We can't do it without them. We're so grateful for all their work um, on these projects. Your name might be quicker this guy. Oh, no, there it is. And uh, also, this, this list, I got another one. This list is growing. This is our uh, subcontractor trade partners uh, list. We, we, we call them trade partners at CORE because we believe that partnership is a big part of the game and we want their buy-in from day one. We don't want it to be contentious. And these are uh, a smattering of the trade partners that are involved in on, on the project so far. This is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger just because the nature of all the work that's being done in the district and um, all the partners that are involved. I think I have to have a It's very It is. We'll get you in the house. Uh, <laughs> so the, I just wanted to point out, and, and another big thank you is that um, on February 8th, we held uh, uh, what we call start safety training. Uh, we had over 25 local subcontractor leadership uh, show up, and that was an amazing opportunity to talk about the culture of, of safety that we held, held very high. And uh, it was just really great to have that many local leaders come to the event, participate, and actually um, engage in it. And, and it was a great opportunity. Uh, our culture of safety has continued, and these projects are, have, have continued to stay safe. And, and it's a, a huge part of the partnerships with the local trade partners here. So let's do a quick overview again um, of the projects here at Greater Clark. So we've got uh, all the way up to New Washington High School, Middle, High School Charleston Middle School, River Valley Middle School, uh, Jeff High and Tennis Complex, Riverside, and North Haven Elementary is uh, doing the additions and renovations. And we'll go through them briefly, but I wanted to talk about the schedule real quick. Um, Jeff High was split into two bid packages, the tennis courts, and then the second bid package was uh, done for the tennis building. Uh, we bid those out in the spring. You, if you've driven around Jeff, you've seen the new tennis building going in. Um, and we're expecting to be done with those uh, by the beginning of summer. Uh, as far as Riverside Elementary, that will be done uh, by the end of the spring season, uh, just the new additions on the back of Riverside. Uh, new Washington, uh, we took bids after the last update and got started and there's a little bit of work going on. That's going to have to be phased around the athletic program out in New Wash, so it might look longer than what it maybe needs to be, but it's just we're trying to make sure that the kids can play their sports at, out in New Wash. So that will be done before uh, being in school year next year. North Haven, uh, we just received our bids uh, over, over winter break and have started out there as well, and we were expecting to be done with that by October. Um, and then the, the River Valley Trust Fund, uh, we're, we're going to talk about the plans a little bit for that because we're receiving bids this coming month at both of those schools and expect to be done by the end of the, the actual year, not the school year, with all of the work for year one. So by the end of this year, we're looking at year one is over. We did it. All right. So we haven't done it yet. We've got to do this. Um, let's see. Scroll. So, Let's go into some progress photos. So this is Jeff High. You can see that we're working on the tennis building. Uh, it's going up, it's going well. The tennis courts are all completed. The lighting's done, the fencing's done, the bleachers are done, the concrete pads are done, concrete sidewalks are done. Um, the only thing left on the tennis courts is the, is the actual coating that goes on the top and then the painting, striking, and uh, finish work, which we'll see done, like I said, towards the end of spring. Uh, weather is the most advantageous for that. As far as the building itself, you see we have the main building pretty much framed up, and then there will be a, a canopy that goes around the outside, um, but it's going well, and, and up, it's on schedule as far as everything goes there. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all completed. 
these are renderings that Jamie has given us. It's going to look just fantastic. Um, Jeff Red, and I think it's going to be a great facility for those, those students out there. Yeah, yeah, we started roofing today. That's right. All right, so North, oh, I'm sorry, Riverside. This is uh, the two additions off the back. You can see how their the roof line continues off the, the parts of the North, or it's, I'm saying that, Riverside Elementary. Um, we're going to, we've seen progress to the point where the outside exterior is almost completed. Brick is done, the roofing is um, nearly completed, and uh, so the exterior is complete. When we go inside, you see ex interior walls um, are going up, brick walls, as well as the HVAC plumbing, and then it won't be long before we start. When we're dried in, we're going to have, this is going to go really quick, all the interior finishes, um, drop ceiling, and all the spaces for the students uh, for that kindergarten and, and uh, it's pre-K, pre-K, pre so it's going to be a, a really awesome addition there. At New Wash, we've got a, a lot going on, or will be going on through this spring season. Obviously, a lot of the sports, we've got to work around those, but um, you see all the things on here. So we've got, uh, we've got track and field renovations. We've got the, um, the tennis courts that are going to be going in, dugouts, um, and then kind of the capstone is a new baseball um, and softball hitting facility that's going in. As far as progress on that, we just kind of got started. Uh, Dave Cristiani was out there excavating um, recently, and so we have here the excavation of where that, that facility is going to sit. If you see kind of where that gravel is, um, it won't be long. You'll see footings, foundations, and then the, the, the exterior shell will go up. And probably by the next time we have uh, one of these updates, the, that facility will be pretty close to be done. It'll go quick. All right. So, and then this is Jamie's wonderful um, graphics that we're going to be putting on all the buildings. It's going to look awesome having all of this tied into the campus. And uh, every, no one's going to wonder who, who's the, who's the mascot? What's the Mustangs? It's going to be awesome. So, um, I'm going to kind of hand it over. Well, actually, first I'm going to talk about North Haven, but then I'm going to hand it over to Jamie so you can talk about some of the design stuff. But, North Haven, there's a lot going to happen, and you see here, uh, we're expecting a new gym addition, we're going to uh, see a new corridor added <coughs> to the back, but then there's also, um, we're going to be removing the existing gym, demoing it, and turning it into kindergarten classrooms, as well as uh, general re renovation to other places, the cafeteria being one of the critical ones. So, inside, this is just really recent, we had uh, asbestos abatement, um, and then we're working on the demolition now of the existing gym and stage area inside North Haven. Um, and again, this is just really the very beginning. So uh, I don't know if you want to talk about some of the renderings, JV, that we have here. Yeah, this is just a new gym addition um, coming off of the, uh, the side parking lot. And so you see the North classroom addition to the far left of the rendering that was done here recently um, in the last project. And then the gym will span that facility as well. So. Um, and here again, you can see the major addition is gym and restrooms and lobby, and then everything else is interior renovation, pretty much included into the existing gym and cafeteria spaces. Yeah, it's going to have a great feel to it with the graphics and the, and the color scheme as well as the interior space too. Yeah, the idea was to help the branding of the building and extend the, uh, the feeling of the, uh, the pride of the facility. All right, I'll let you talk a little bit about Charlestown and kind of the scope. And these are pretty small, but basically by color coding, you can see the yellow is the gym. Uh, this, this is the first floor. So the yellow area is the gym where we're going to get a new gym floor, paint the gym, um, walls, ceilings, basically freshen that space up, give it a whole new life, and, and uh, remove the, the tartan floor and the, uh, and the uh, membrane floor that's in, in there now, and the booster plates and all of the, the, the flooring. Um, situation there now, put a new gym wood floor in. So the gym will be basically going to complete refresher. Uh, what you see there in green are basically restroom renovations throughout the facility. All the restrooms are pretty much original to these facilities at the middle schools. So they uh, are overdue for 
a renovation, so they'll get a complete gut and renovation. Uh, the pink areas are office spaces. That's the second area, kind of guidance office area in the middle there, and then uh, staff support on uh, you know, the other side of it there. Those are just going to get finishes. Uh, those were not done in the last renovation, so new carpeting, paint, uh, and some, some new ceilings and those type of things. The blue area is what a uh, superintendent calls is the orange space that he wants to come up. And I try to find a new orange shag carpet to put the rest of the building to match it, but uh, we're going to get rid of all the other carpet and, and freshen all that space up. That's all the fine arts area, so band and choir, so that will all get renovated as well. And then going up to the second floor, just the upper area of the gym, we have an upper mezzanine, upper gym space, so that will get um, part of the paint and so forth, and then the upper uh, floor restroom renovations as well, and staff restroom as well. River Valley's almost the exact same work with the exception of we're doing work in the pool and locker room area. So again, the yellow is the gym. Same work I mentioned at Charlestown Middle School. The green throughout the building are the major restroom floors uh, that are all getting renovated. You can see there in, in the pairs. River Valley's a slightly larger building than Charlestown, so there's a few more restroom pairs there. What you're seeing in the top of the plan here is uh, the pink area is the new office space. We're going to take the existing gym space and we're going to make uh, a new main office. They're going to then vacate the existing offices and expand guidance and support and counseling into those spaces as is. Those spaces will just remain as is. So we'll be able to transfer over as those spaces become complete. Uh, in addition to the office space, what you see there in the light blue, those are three large flex STEM steam labs. Um, for the building, so um, I think the principal's going to dedicate one of those to sixth grade science and the other two will be an undedicated STEAM, uh, science, technology, engineering, art, math, uh, just a flex lab, so nice large flex <coughs> space. And then between the gym and those blue classrooms, as you see a spattering of colors there, basically what we're doing is we're taking the entire locker room space that's there now, it's original to the building, it's um, to say it's in need of renovation is a, is a dire understatement. Um, what we're going to do there is we're going to renovate the locker rooms to support today's activities uh, that we need. And we're also going to vacate two of the locker rooms and expand restroom facilities that are desperately needed for events in that, in that building. And then the next slide is just upstairs, again, the, the upper uh, gym area. And then we're, we're renovating two uh, restroom pairs that are upstairs and we're going to correct um, a closed corridor condition that we're going to be able to open up with this renovation as well. Mm -hmm. From the standpoint of uh, actual scope of work, they, these two might seem similar, but this one is more significant in terms of scope and will take a little bit longer, but our plan is to try and work around school schedules as much as possible and so and, and impact the schools as, as little as possible so that you know, when we're working on these, we're going to do a lot of summer renovations and break renovations. But this one in particular uh, is going to take the full, I mean, the full time that we slated on that schedule for sure. So, all right, year two. See, we're going quick. You guys are all, we're already at slide 25. Man. So, uh, a separate set of partners, but if some are similar and we've added some new faces, thank you again to the JV and Perfection who are in the room. But all, all of our teammates are. Uh, AML is our general contractor teammate for core on these year two projects. And then we also have Ratio PD Design involved and then um, their engineering team. Uh, fantastic work with so far. And just adding to the sort of the map here, uh, you see the new, uh, I like to call them brand spanking new, Charlestown Elementary and Pike Elementary. These are gonna be amazing facilities that we just cannot wait to get started on. So um, I'm adding those to sort of the long-term schedule here so you can kind of take a look and see where everything's going to line up in terms of projects and and we see here that we're going to be actually getting uh, early bid packages for site and civil next month believe it or not we're, we're ready to go um, from that standpoint a complete design is going to be done um, in may on both facilities and we're going to stagger the bids in order to generate uh, more competitiveness on, on pike elementary and, and get both of these started in June 
Um, and, and you're going to see that the construction durations are, are pretty similar, but realistically, we're, we're expected to be done in spring 25. And that leaves a little bit of buffer for all of the movement that's going to take uh, to get these do all these teachers in, get all the fixtures, furniture, equipment in, all the technology in. I mean, it's going to be a massive undertaking. We'll assist with that process, and then we'll, we'll cut that ribbon first day of school or around that time. Um, and it's going to be a great opportunity. Uh, the other one I added in here is uh, Charlestown High School's locker room, which is also in blue. I could not put it in red. I just I couldn't bring myself to do it, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I couldn't do it. So there's three blues and it, you know, my ADD is kicking in. But I wanted to share that because that is coinciding. Um, we're collecting bids again this next month for that and we are expected to start um, right there in the spring. Make sure that we're getting done by the end of the, of the year. Uh, we were working towards getting done by football season and I just, we don't want to promise that to you. We're going to work as hard as we can to get it done, but uh, more than likely it's going to go through football season this year, it, just given the, the sort of the restart of this project and, and the back, the history of it. Um, I want to move into here and really show you the prettiness and the pictures and let Jamie elaborate. Yeah, I won't go into too much detail. You've seen these before, but these are just the latest renderings of uh, this one, particularly and specifically the new Charlestown Elementary School that the uh, new Jeff Pike Elementary School be incredibly similar as their sister school designs. So this is just the main entrance coming in with the academic wings to the side. And again, the main entrance in the center, the academic wings to the side. And you know this is a large facility, but it is designed to schools within a school. So you have uh, the primary side of the building and the intermediate side of the building. Um, and you can see each one of those wings uh, is a grade level. So for the most part, a student, other than to go to some shared spaces like art and music and gym and, and uh, cafeteria and library, those type of things, uh, they don't need to leave the, their their house, so to speak, within the building. So it's a large facility, but uh, it's broken down into, into smaller homes within, within it. So uh, all the color, colors just correspond to every grade level and use of space. Uh, in working well. And you all have this as your packet. So we don't need to go into too great detail. Even you've, you've been involved on this. I mean, this is a long time coming. The only real difference between the Charlestown and Pike elementaries is uh, um, the sections. So one less grade level at, at Pike building. <coughs> um, and then we've added uh, the preschool at both facilities as well. I also love the idea um, that our architect partners came up with the graduation within your elementary education from you know the undergrades to the upper grades. And, being able to walk up the stairs and, and being, you know, trying to graduate within your elementary education. I think that's going to be a, an exciting opportunity for those students. And as you said, school within the school is how we made it, how they made it. So, um, in terms of, you know, kind of what's coming up next for this uh, next week, uh, we're holding a trade partner meet and greet. Um, there's been some concern just given the number of people that have signed up, whether the Rusty Bucket will all of those people, but uh, I think it's kind of go as you please, and so we, we're expecting that we'll have at least enough food. So anybody who wants to come and talk about the project, please come out. Um, but we're expecting over 100 people who, who have already RSVP. You know, we've created uh, through working down here, we've created a lot of relationships. We're not concerned about the number of bids we get. It's more about making sure that people are excited. And, and getting people excited about the project. And so that goes all the way to the trade partner subcontractors locally here. So we're going to be doing that. And then also, hey, exciting stuff, look for a groundbreaking invitation in May um, is what we're hoping <coughs> to get to. So um, I'll be working with the district here shortly to talk about the details. But um, we would love everyone to come out. We're going to make it as big and grand as possible because these are a big deal and for a district um, who hasn't done a new building since Franklin Square. I mean, but even then it was, you know, it was a new building for a long time. Um, these are going to be an important, an important part of the community for a long time. So we want to make, a, make it into something special. And year point five, that's, I want to put a question mark. Is it year point five, Mark? I don't know. Yeah. 
we call it that. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. So Charleston High School uh, is underway, like I said before, uh, our partners, Katie and Howie. We're working through design. Uh, just a quick overview, these are black and white. We couldn't get the color in there, but uh, it will be Charleston blue uh, with, with metal, just like at Charleston High School. You're gonna see the brick layer, a similar color as Charleston, and then those columns uh, that are iconic to Charleston as well. Uh, really service it well. You see here the, the locker room space for the football team, the restrooms uh, down below to the right. You see the locker rooms <coughs> for the soccer and track to the left, and then um, ultimately a lot of storage, which is important, but then we're gonna have that concession stand down to the left as well, under a colony for people to stand in line. So it's gonna be a great facility to have out there at Charlestown, really complete how we feel that, that, you know, that area should look. And the final thing, um, and I'm sorry, Brian, I didn't get this in. I was out in Washington today, but there, Renee has these really tight deadlines. So <laughs> yeah. um, we, Cora was representing uh, Greg Clark at, out of the career fairs this, this last month. And I gotta tell you, um, it was a really exciting opportunity to meet these students and talk about the, their facilities. First of all, we, we brought some graphics and they were very excited about it. And then um, being able to take the next step and engage them in their conversation about their futures. And we've had over 80 students sign up to learn more about construction industry, uh, architecture industry, and engineering industry uh, at all three schools. And um, there's a lot of interest out there. I've already told Jamie about the architects, and we're going to get him engaged with them. But you know, with uh, the, the new faces in the room, we definitely want all of us need to work together towards new people in the construction industry as, a, as an opportunity for some of these students. And so uh, there was a report recently that said that we're down 550,000 construction workers right now. And so anybody and everybody needs to be engaging in that and making sure we're, we're working forward to get um, us back on track for that. So anyway, I just want to share that. And I think that's it. And what's my time? Okay. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Do you have any questions for us while we're up here? Thank you all. All right. Thank you very much. So, uh, next item will be the consent agenda. The board will have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. A motion to approve. Thank you, Mr. Green. Do I have a second? Thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. I know everybody did their homework. Is there any questions, comments, concerns you'd like to discuss? Well, here we go. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And abstaining. All right, the next would be the wonderful gifts to building. Fair for training, would you help us with this, please? Absolutely. We can see some big tickets items on the Charleston Middle School from the Jeffersonville FLP Body Fund under donated for eighth graders to take a trip to Washington, D.C. Uh, I uh, will actually be going on that trip. Oh, I'm so excited. Put one of those strings on you to keep you. Yeah, I told them I was going to tie it on uh, They said it was a bad idea. And I was like, no, I'm not tying you to me. I'm just tying it on you. Uh, swim teams for New Washington, Ohio, the Greater North Clark Healthcare Foundation, $2,497.84. Uh, and the GCC Education Foundation, Summer PD Program for Wilson Elementary, and PTO also Christian on that. That's that we accept these gifts to buildings the amount of ten thousand nine hundred seventy and seventeen. Awesome. Thank you so much and thanks to all of them. We're involved. Do I have a second, Lord? Second. Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Do I have any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstain. Now we're into the action items. Hello there. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, last spring Greater Clark authorized us to join in litigation against Jewel as Inc. And this was for damages suffered by school districts and students as a result of the manufacture, marketing, sale, and use of these cigarettes and vaping products. Just a couple months ago on December 6, a settlement was reached between all school districts and the Jewel Labs Inc. Greater Clark is eligible to receive a net settlement amount of $175,000 approximately. The first half of that will be paid in the fall of this year, 2023. 
and these federal funds will be used to purchase and install halo devices in our school restrooms. Halo devices detect vape, smoke, and THC, and also sound abnormalities like gunshots and shouting, things that we normally would pick up in um, areas with cameras, but obviously we don't have cameras in our restrooms. We're authorizing the um, board, asking on the board to authorize us to settle with the legacy. Uh, board, do I have a motion for the approval of the settlement against Jewel Lab Inc.? Thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Mustaine. Um, uh, with the money that we're going to purchase, just any question, comments? I know, Mr. Walker, we do have of uh, those uh, devices that we're going to put in the restrooms. We have those in other schools as well, correct? Yes. yes. They, they function well. And actually, uh, <coughs> Officer Mitchell uh, can give you a little insight on how many, because uh, we have some at GF High currently, and how many texts he gets, you know. We have uh, five in the bathroom now. Uh, so we probably get about, uh, I don't know, 50 texts a day. No kidding. <laughs> Wow, that you have a lot of girlfriends. One yeah. the other. <laughs> say, no, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. It just, but yeah. But the goal will be to put one in every bathroom at the secondary level, middle schools, high schools, and get, get one in every every bathroom that we have, especially as part of these renovations that we're doing to go ahead and try to get that done. I think they're, uh, Jamie, what are they, twenty-five hundred dollars a piece, something like that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the technology is really great. Yeah. Who gets those tests besides the resource officer? Print administrators, print administrators. They can send them out to whoever receives them. Okay. That's great. Yeah, they've got smart devices so they can be programmed and they can detect all kinds of basically airborne contaminants like that. So they can any other CO2 type type issues. So. Well, in the noise piece. You know, too, for commotion and safety, and that, that's great. I tell you, the research I've done, the schools that have been using them for a couple of years, they've said that, you know, the, the vape incidents have gone down anywhere from 70 to 80 percent, you know, in that, you know, in that. So that, that would be a good thing right there. I'm sure when they put Jewel out of business, he does. Heck yeah. <laughs> At any rate, all right. Uh, all those in favor of the approval of the settlement agreement against Jewel Lab saying, I uh, say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, abstain. All right, next would be the CMC selection at New Parkwood Elementary School. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Members of the board and of the public tonight, I come to you very excited because this is a representation of the league that Greer Park has now accepted to. We received five bids from very fabulous companies throughout the state of Indiana that wants to work with Greater Clark with their whole heart. So we had to painstakingly, as a evaluation team, evaluate that on February 23rd and narrow down to three numbers. If I can tell you, I can I know each one, personally and professionally. And I could sense the struggle that I knew I was personally going to have, professionally going to have, with the team. And that is where we have to put ourselves to. They have come and they have delivered all three. One that you have just been presented to in front of tonight. And the other two are in the room tonight. So I'm going to respectfully request that the board consider the recommendation on behalf of the evaluation team to award a contract to the CMC for Parkwood, which would be Haggard. Prior to that, I think it's important that I learned tonight that that evening, during their presentation, they became aware that they received an award for Project of the Year, which their associations in the state and do that for Washington Township Schools. So I wanted to make sure that she knew that we were not selecting anybody who hasn't gone things. Um, very reputable. The superintendent that is on that job will be the superintendent for Greater Clark. So um, Hagman comes with a plethora of respect, 
a lot of uh, reference. I did check that personally myself. Walking into this district three years ago, I was very aware of Hagerman and their recommendations by some highly regarded partners that I've used before. So it is with my great pleasure to present this to you and respectfully request that you consider this approval tonight. Upon approval tonight, that will also give authorization for them to start the pre-planning and the pre-construction phase for Parkwood Elementary. Uh, in the April meeting, I will actually bring you the agreement with, with the committee to have you go ahead and approve those. But um, to say that this was a uh, snap of a finger, it was not. I mean, we have got some of the biggest hitters, the top three in the state of Indiana, as far as I'm concerned, that wants to park as the number one school district that's on the move, only as fit. So I'm recommending Hagerman to be your CMC service provider for Parkwood Elementary School. Thank you. Board, do I have a motion for the recommendation of Hagerman and Company uh, Incorporated CMC Services to be the provider for the new Parkwood Elementary School? I'll make that motion. Thank you. Ms. Mustaine, do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Uh, any questions or comments? Uh, I would just like to say that I, I deeply appreciate and respect all those that participated in this process, and, and I know it was a, a painstaking process, and appreciate all parties involved. Well, I appreciate you appreciating. Trust me. <laughs> you, you want to talk about a beat? Um, yeah. At any rate, um, that's great. That's great. Um, okay, uh, all those in favor of uh, Hagerman Incorporated for CMC service provider for Parkwood Elementary, uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Please join in welcoming Hagerman. Can we stand? Sure. sure you don't want to say a little something? You wore us out in the interview process. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all very much. Thank you. All right, the next item will be the CMC selection for the Manitorium in Jacksonville High School. So now at this point, you've got experience with some elementary uh, renovations, building, another building. <coughs> now we're embarking on something that is spectacular for the Jeffersonville area. Something that is braggable, something that's not uh, going to be anything of its kind. I mean, we are going to be number one in this. And who better than the most qualified one in the state of Indiana, who I also professionally and personally know, and have seen their work throughout my 30 years of my career plus. I'm going to leave it at 30 for stopping at that number. <laughs> And I even thank them enough for being here tonight and so very proud of their presentation and respect, the, the respect that they've given me over my 30 years um, and the colleagues that they have done work for that are personal friends of mine because, you know, my, my friends, many are our school CFO peers who are very thankful for the work and efforts that they do put into this type of work. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll be uh, meeting um, with them. I met with uh, the Hagerman team tonight. <coughs> we'll be with them tomorrow to explain the true mission of Greater Clark, that we are second to none. Uh, they deal with a lot of big schools, and I think that they're very aware of where, where we're at, where we're heading, and what is expected here. And so with, it, with my great pleasure, I would like to recommend to the board to accept on behalf of the evaluation team that the Skill Corporation be your CMC provider for the Jeffersonville High School new pool for Jeffersonville. <coughs> All right, board, do I have a motion for the recommendation of Skillman as a CMC service provider for the new Jeffersonville High School manager? Mr. President, I move that we approve uh, Skillman as CMC. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Paul. I appreciate that. Do I have a second? Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Um, mm -hmm. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Or abstaining? Please welcome them to the Great Park I guess I should have said this in the comments, but it was a very grueling process. It, it was very well run, Jamie, you know, for facilitating that. And um, we were just blown away by, you know, five tremendous proposals. It was 
you know, it made it tough on us. Maybe it sure did. It sure did. And you can tell them scoring. I mean, it was within just simply. <laughs> and it was true, and it was fair, and um, we value each partnership uh, that we have here. The expectations that we have here is um, higher than maybe any of them has ever faced, but they're gladly, acceptably taking it on. Um, James orchestrating that. We had the top two architects in the state of Indiana. So I just want you to know to get the feeling that's in my heart, the passion that I have on where we stand now. Um, the words of Greater Clark now is going to be throughout the state of Indiana. What you're about to experience is going to be life changing. Not just for you, but for the students of Greater Clark. Let's see my comments on that. I'm very passionate about this study. <laughs> You got the check, but you should be. Um, <laughs> all right, next would be uh, the adopt the amendment for the lease agreement. So, normally in our process, when we're doing uh, bond uh, issuances for projects, you know, we come up with a project, we have a plan, uh, we start with our initial you know, resolutions to kick that off, to give the time for the public and public hearings to hear the, the support on those projects. Um, we didn't have to do that as fast this time. Um, so normally you're used to doing this, boom, boom, boom. Um, because of the nature of when we wanted to start these projects and when we actually need the money, we're timing this in such a fashion. So tonight um, you will be approving a resolution um, that is an agreement to amend the lease. So these are the lease rentals, which means that your building corporation is the holder of that and you are, that's your uh, item that you are up there so that way people will sell bonds and then you pay that back almost like a mortgage, right? So we are amending that to include this new bond that's coming for mainly Parkwood and a high school. Right, so the resolution tonight, the purpose of this amendment is to engage with Greater Clark Building Corporation by way of amending the original lease agreement in October of 2011. That's allowing the corporation to have premises under lease for the 2023 borrowing that will be used for the capital plan outlined for the replacement of Parkwood Elementary, JHS Pool, Technology, HVAC Roofing, and various general repairs in District 1. Um, you have already approved this preliminary determination, which says this is what you are interested in doing. And I recommend that the Board of Trustees approve the amendment as an approved amendment to the lease agreement by way of resolution as presented. Or do I have a motion for the approval of a resolution approving form of the amendment to lease? Mr. President, if I can follow that. Um, I move that we uh, approve the resolution approving form of amendment to lease. Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you very much, Mr. Freeman. Uh, any questions, comments? I know that was kind of a tongue twister. The only one is that come April 11th, you will have that, the final uh, public hearing to hear any questions of, you know, mm -hmm. somebody say talk about the uh, changing of the you know, amendments to the lease. So, and then you will do your final resolutions. That will position us then to time our borrowing. We'll be able to do that, and we have met with Stiefel to make sure of interest rates, need, um, what we're doing, and we will engage our CNCs to be heavily involved with what our budgets are at that front end. So it will be uh, a time issue. We're looking to hope to have funds here no later than June. Um, so that way we can make sure that we proceed forward with this project. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. All those in favor of the approval of the resolution say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining. Perfect. Let's keep on moving. We got a wonderful roofing project ahead. So, um, in our <coughs> borrowings that we do in our five year capital plan, we have various things that are going on aside from the vendors buildings that we need to build. There are things that we need to replace, such as roofing, paving, and those kind of district needs. However, we have chosen with the 23 money that would be coming, that the meeting that you approve this amendment for, the resolutions for, 
there has um, been assessment within the district on the urgency of our roof replacements and the priority has become jet high in three sections. And so um, profession handles the bids, all of the inspection, all of those things and it comes to us with that priority list. So I'm coming to you tonight to uh, approve the uh, agreement with professional <coughs> with the hooping plan at Jeffersonville High School. Board that board. doesn't take care of the whole thing. It's only sections. And, and it's, a, it's the size of Jeff High, it's unrealistic to think that we just do them all in, in one swoop anyway. So they have put the most urgent ones at the top. That is a foam roof. Um, we're moving away from that. Or do I have a motion for the approval of the 2023 roofing project at Jet High? I move the approved roofing project at Jet High. Thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstain? Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, moving right along, architect agreement amendment between Greater Clark Fanny House Associates. <coughs> Design work. And JHS pool, football locker room? As I alluded to earlier, that Greater Clark is so honored to have uh, two of the best architects in the state of Indiana. Um, this agreement is between Fannie and Howie. You have seen some red rings, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they also are uh, the top pool designers in the state of Indiana. And uh, Bill Payne, who was on target to retire because of Greater Clark, he decided to stay on to see us do these projects. Again, that's on 14 And so um, he's been doing all this work, and I've been asking him to get his contract to get, get him with us to, to stay with us, you know. Um, so I bring it to you his, his uh, contract for tonight. This is 7%. Everybody's trying to align to give Creative Clark um, more bang for their money invested in the project. So this is a very fair percentage. Remember, I told you that there are higher industry standards. So everybody's on board with us on how we approach this. So it is my recommendation that the board approve the amendment be, uh, agreement between GCCS and Fannie and Howie Associates for the work and design of the JHS pool slash locker room. Uh, we've seen the last renderings that he had done and incorporated that football locker room in there. Uh, similar to you know, Charleston High that adjusted uh, what is very impressive with that is that um, if we, when, let me say that differently, when we host the state's largest competitive swimming options in that building, you will have six locker rooms. So you can have people go back and forth. When we uh, host large events in our football stadium, you will have six locker rooms. You will have concessions. It's going to service this area. This is spectacular. This is magnificent. And I cannot wait till we get started on that one. So it's my recommendation to approve this, this agreement. Board, I move that we approve the architecture agreement between Greater Clark Schools, Fannie Howe Associates for the design work of the Jeffersonville <coughs> School the Pool and Football Locker Room. Might I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? Final. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, thank you. Thank you so for much. Show my passion. I know it. I'm digging it. That's great. Uh, final will be the evening right away at Charlestown Middle School. Dr. Sharman, how are you this evening? Good. How are you? Having the time of my life. <laughs> well, I'll be able to sit. Yeah. That's something else, man. Um, so, as most of you know, Channel Lake is a um, pretty big addition that's going into the Charlestown area. As part of that addition, they need to add drainage and utilities uh, for that to service that. One of the areas that they have uh, noted as a, a possible drainage and utilities uh, lies on Charlestown Middle School's property. <coughs> so they are requesting that uh, the city be given an easement right away. Uh, Christiani Excavating will be doing all the work on that at their, at their own expense. Uh, additionally, um, since they're going to be there, and just to, to do something for us, they're going to um, demolish the fence that uh, is on the back of the property line there. Uh, clean that up for us so that way we can do something new with it. So I'm recommending that we approve the easement right away uh, on the Charles Hamilton property. 
Or do I have a motion for the approval of the easement right away at Charlestown Middle School? Mr. President, I vote that we approve the easement of Rome and Trust on those goals. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Do I have a second? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstain. Okay. This is the wonderful time of the board where we get, besides adjournment, um, where we get to have board comments. Uh, Mr. Jones, would you have anything you'd like to? Thank you, sir. Uh, Ms. Hutchinson? No. No. Mr. Paul? None of the Ms. Ding? Mr. Freeman? I can barely talk today for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ms. Perkins? Yes. Please? Please. Um, this time of year, we have so many students competing and performing, and whether it's drama or state music or basketball or wrestling or I'm um, part of like swimming. Uh, and I've tried to attend as many of these as I could, but did, of course, could get around to all of them. But I am so proud, not of the, the act, not of the awards or not of the trophies. I'm just so <coughs> proud of our students and our coaches uh, and our directors. Um, our students represent us so well, and um, they're fine young women and men. We should be very thankful. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Um, I, I will. I have a couple things to say. I'll keep it brief because there's no more horrible death than to be talked to death. Um, so we've all had that happen to grocery store, I'm sure. Um, uh, first and foremost, I wanted to thank um, Ms. Gilland, the principal at UK Elementary School, um, and and the three teachers, Bev Hurlbut, um, Ms. Hoyland, and Mrs. Watson, um, that allowed me to. I was read across America week and allowed me to read to the elementary school children. Um, I had been a school teacher for a long time, had been an administrator for a long time, um, but I never really had much to do with elementary school kids. It was all secondary. Um, now I have grandchildren, and, and I love them dearly. But when I went in there to read to them, hooray for Diffin Doofer Day. Um, it was about standardized testing and how they were ready for it. And if they didn't pass the test, they'd have to go to dreaded flower town. And those kids kept getting closer to me and closer to me and were just, I mean, it, it, it was just, it took my heart. And it was just everything I could do to, to just, you know, I mean, I, I would have done it for every day for a month. Oddly enough, it was, I thought it was difficult with all the bids that we had and things for the construction. Um, and I was really nervous about trying to get that right and study that and do the right things and, and so that to make the best decision I could make. But I was about equally as nervous as reading to the elementary school children. <laughs> that being said, I just, I recommend it, Lord, if you ever get a chance, you know, and do, do what you can. Finally, I'd like to thank um, Laura Kubinger uh, for, um, all the work that you've done to facilitate where we are at this point. Um, I know when when you left, and I was glad that you communicated with me afterwards because I know your your heart was heavy. You know you were just trying to figure all this because you were emotionally invested as as you were you know financially invested in with our school system. And I know that was difficult for you. It was difficult for everyone. So, but I just want to just really shout out and give you kudos and, and thank you. And finally, I'd like to shout out to Janelle Fitzpatrick. We're, we're, we're getting there, kiddo. So if you're listening, if not, you know she is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Daughter. Anyway, that's all. Sorry about talking so long. I'll keep my short. Congratulations to New Washington's boys basketball team winning the sectional. Unfortunately, they got beat in the regional, but they still had a good run. Also, I want to thank everybody who's on the committee, um, like Mr. Buckwalter said. And, and uh, Laura said it was a difficult, difficult decision on, on the projects, and, and Jamie did a great job of running that process. You know, and that's one of the, the best processes I've sat through. You know, in terms of looking at all the bids and going through the interviews, and, and, and really coming up with a, I think we made a great decision. You know, and now we get to work with three of the biggest, best contracting firms in the state. So. Um, you know, how can we go wrong on that decision, I believe. So I'm thrilled to get started and get these things going. You know, we're getting one day closer to actually 
uh, dirt moving and buildings going up and and in two two and a half years seeing new facilities for our kids so uh, that's always a positive absolutely Ms. Borkowski, anything you'd like to add? Be sure to smile. Okay, oh, no. Board, do I have a motion for adjournment? I'm going to adjourn. Thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. Do I have a second? Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Uh, any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain.